Welcome to part 10 of building a dynamic web community using PHP, MySQL, and Flash. Created by Flash Building and brought to you by developphp.com. And in number 9, we created our edit profile page. We finished the functionality of the the header profile or the edit profile button in our header. And now we're setting up our uh when we left off in the last part, we were setting up the forms. It's going to be the first form for the user to uh, edit their profile, which is going to be the profile picture. So, let's see. How can we do this? Uh, yeah, let's just add a form to this whole table. So, let's go to code. Right here, we're going to type in form. action edit underscore profile dot php or you can use the server self variables that are native in php but either method will work just fine and the insight type multi-part form data the method is post I think that's good. Let's give it a name of pick form. Pick one form. Now, I think that's all we need. Yep doesn't really necessarily need an ID but you can give it an ID pick form and we're not going to use any of the other options for this form for this example now let's close off that tag Okay, now let's just go down a few lines here with the table nest. Uh, I put a couple of lines right here so we can see what's going on and separate that table a little more. Remember this table is going to be for uploading the picture. And so let's go here. Let's go down to the where the table you have to nest everything correctly so when the table opens, the table tag opens, you put in the f form starting tag. So when the table is going to close, you got to put in the table the form closing tag before the f table closes to keep everything nested correctly. Okay, so all we need is a submit button right here. So insert form button. Okay. Go into the source code that's fine okay so let's put in our file upload field this doesn't need a label and get rid of that label tag and right here actually let's separate this one more time let's go over here put the cursor there go to split into two columns so you're splitting that column into two columns that way this one can be for the image they'll see their image before they change it or upload it and we're gonna make it a hundred wide not too big okay so here we're gonna add the let's go to insert form the file field and just press ok it'll give it default values if you go into the code view and you look we don't want that label tag input type is file the name is file field that's fine I might change the name of that so now what we're gonna do is so this pretty much shows you 
Now I'm going to have this whole source file for download so you guys don't have to question through the video what I'm doing here. You can actually go and get the files and download it and look at it. So I'm not going to take the video time up to make all these silly little forms when everybody knows how to make HTML forms. If you don't know how to make an HTML form, uh, you shouldn't be taking this tutorial yet, this tutorial series. Um, that's really basic stuff you should have learned a long time ago before you start something like this. So this is basically simple HTML forms sitting inside of a table, nested inside of a table, and we just put the fields that we want, the components for the form that we want, and print out the user data into those fields. It's that simple. Then when the user wants to uh, submit, they browse for the picture, they find it on the computer, they put it here, they submit, and it uploads. So now all we need is an upload script that's going to be up here in the PHP section of this file. Um, so what I'm going to do is put in all the little tables and forms for all the little data that I want to gather and change for the user to allow the user to edit about their profile. And when I get done with that, I'll pop the video or I'll unpause the video and we'll talk about what's in it just briefly because it's just going to be simple HTML forms but what's going to be the the, uh, the part that's a little more complex is the PHP parsing of all those forms and it's all going to be on this one same page all the parsing mechanisms that sync data into the database when they want to edit it it's all going to be on this same page and I'm going to explain that very thoroughly and that's going to be in the upper section okay so before I script out the the parsing mechanism for or the parsing mechanisms for all these little forms here uh, I just wanted to show you what I wound up with and this is what we're gonna have for our base system in the edit profile page and I stuck the account settings page here or link to the account settings page so this way they can edit their account settings uh, do such things as uh, or do things such as uh, change their password, delete their account, or deactivate it, whichever we choose to have them do. Um, and maybe a couple of other options in there. Uh, but this page is going to be mostly for setting up the, the profile display. And then the page we create for their account settings will be a, a different page. And that will be a, in a later on lesson part of the free package and uh, so yeah what we have is the first line is going to put their picture right there it's only going to be 100 wide and then uh, 100 pixels wide and and so well first thing up top is we put a sentence in and it's uh, edit your profile data here and it would say Adam put the first name then we have the edit table for the person's picture, the edit table and form for the, uh, the person's first name, middle name, last name. Actually I think I'm going to remove middle name. I do not need that. I'll just do first name, last name. And uh, I'm going to remove it from the database as well. I'm going to do a couple of modifications to the database uh, in a, a a tutorial maybe the next one or maybe the one after that just to show you how to do modifications as you're planning and building you might need changes to that main database table so I'll show you how to do that through script <clears throat> it's very easy okay so the next table is set up for the the members location so they can edit their country state city and zip code the next one is set up for the members website. The next one is set up for the members YouTube channel. And this one is set up for the members uh, bio or their about it, about section. And each uh, little form has a table with a uh, form tag nested inside. So if we look at the code, well first let's look at the design again. You see I have horizontal lines here. Well actually let's look at it on the web because I already FTP'd it, I logged in and here I am in Firefox I'm gonna go to edit profile 
and I put up the new header already also so if you guys are members of the site you would you would see this now um, actually the whole source package would, would be updated so you can get to the source files too um, but here is the the form this is how it looks in Firefox I just wanted to make sure I'm looking at it in all browsers as I build so that way and here it is in Internet Explorer that way we can see if there's any design uh, problems or rendering problems so it looks good in Internet Explorer it's bringing in all my data and same in Firefox we have no about us data because we we don't put that in in the registration form the place that's edited is right here so and then here they would just upload a picture and we're just gonna have for the base tutorial we're just gonna have one uh, we're gonna do like YouTube and just have one uh, profile picture and that is all no picture albums cause I think there's a lot of sites out there that let you have picture albums already and uh, it's it's social networks really aren't doing that sort of thing anymore that's what MySpace is there for and Facebook uh, and all those other sites where you can go and make picture albums but if you wanted to code that into your project it's not very difficult um, but for this base tutorial we're just gonna stick with one profile picture and it's gonna display on their profile when you view the profile it's gonna display a lot bigger than YouTube's 250 by whatever height the person's uh, they could put a big banner in there if they like because all the information display information for the member is going to be off to the left and then other things down here so uh, or maybe we would limit the height we'll get to that we'll cross that bridge when we come to it so the edit profile page looks good we have no parsing script yet but that's okay and now um, let's see da, 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 da. so now we're ready to build our parsing mechanisms uh, mechanisms and what I wanted to show you was the horizontal lines here in between each section and if you look in the code the code view you'll see in between each form and, and table for each form there's a horizontal line tag with a width of 680 and it's center aligned and that's pretty much that but everything in the form is pretty basic form components that you would have in any other regular uh, form and similar to the the registration form some of these fields are very similar to the registration form fields like the country drop down I took straight out of the registration PHP page here for their country drop down when they register and uh, the form upload we're gonna set a 50 kilobyte max for that image it can be no bigger than 50 kilobyte and so what I'm going to do so this video doesn't run too long is just in uh, part 11 which will be the next part we're gonna build all these parsing mechanisms in the script up top so this one file will take care of showing the user their form and when they press submit the same edit that pro or, or edit underscore profile that PHP will parse that information into the database and then uh, if all things go right right when the page is reloaded after the parsing it will show the new updated data okay